Hey guys, welcome back to Grounded. So today we finally started doing some big boy things. Today we're finally going to craft a workbench in which I believe, I'm not too sure, I will double check in just a sec, but I believe you need it in order to craft like actual good advanced weapons and which I intend to do. And then we're going to go back to the secret laboratory because I hear from a little bird that if you kill the robot that has tried to kill me multiple times, you actually get some more science recipes for the other bigger robot that actually gives you blueprints and stuff like that in order to advance into this what we call world of grounded a bugs life simulator slash honey i shrunk the kids slash minecraft slash awesome i am loving this game this is possibly one of my favorite games at the moment which is says a lot because i've been playing a lot of games and uh, this is definitely just a, a, a breath of fresh air but anyways thank you for joining me thank you for the love and support you've been showing the series we are into three episodes with this one and i could not be any happier playing this game for you guys so if you are enjoying yourself sit back relax it's gonna be a good old time and uh we're just gonna get straight into it let me just accommodate my stuff here <laughs> what's attacking my base oh it's a ladybug okay never mind <laughs> little ladybug was scaring me there for a second the workbench allows to craft of armors or the crafting of armors and weapons with advanced materials so i'm gonna do this just to kind of get it out of the way i know this is one of the most important things to do so we need three grass planks and sap i've got one sap we need one more i don't have any in my inventory that i know of i do not so we're gonna head out now we've got plenty of grass which is totally fine totally perfect but we're going to be heading out now and see if we can find some tree sap now i believe if i am not mistaken that there was some tree sap over around this area right by the baseball which I wanted to make sure you guys understand one thing. I love my base and I want to expand upon it. But it's initially it's not on a high ground. It's not really a floating base, which I've found out from multiple sources that you need. Well, you don't need to, but it's very, very helpful if your base is on a higher ground as opposed to it being on the floor. Make sure we're going the right way. I don't think we're going the right way. So, yeah, if your base is on like an altitude where insects and bugs cannot reach you they can't attack it so i'm this is gonna sound kind of crazy because i spent two hours with that base okay but uh i am most likely Ooh, we found some sap oh there, there we go i am most likely going to build a new base somewhere else and believe it or not i, I know it sounds crazy but i've already got the perfect spot i've seen some people i watched the tips and tricks video that actually gave me some good ideas and I, I, I don't want to spoil it, but it's, it's going to be a fantastic spot. And I think the base is going to be 10 times better than this one. But of course, that's not going to be in this episode because we just built this. And, uh, you know, it would be kind of silly for me to just build something new on the following episode. But anyways, we are here now. We've got the sap. I'm going to go to my crafting. I'm going to go to workbench. And now I need some of these planks, which we have here in hand. I wish you could just stand next to it and honestly construct it um there we go i think i'm gonna put it and i rotate it oh i like how you can rotate it anywhere uh we can build and bada beam bada boom we've got a workbench doesn't look half bad not at all so the workbench is needed to craft more complex items and interact with them to open your crafting menu complex item so obviously this is being part of the workbench which means we can do armor and stuff like that uh for this we don't need a workbench for the bow. I don't have enough amp parts, but we could start off with this. With an eye patch. Which actually helps us out a little bit. But uh, definitely the clover hood. We're going to do that. We've got plenty of clover. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to craft a couple of these. We have 25, 22 in our backpack. So I'm going to craft some of these. Now we're going to go back to the workbench. And we need bandages. So we're going to make some bandages. How do we make bandages? Fiber bandages. Oh, we're going to need more tree sap. It's going to get a little dark out. Came out through the wrong side of my house. Nope. Coming through here. Close the door. I don't want any damn spiders or whatever creatures lie ahead. To come inside my house and then I come back and it's no longer there because that would really suck. But anyhow. 
that should not be a problem on our next episode, or not our next episode, but the, the episode where we're going to build this fantastic mansion, if you will. I'm going to build it so high up, we're going to have pretty much a penthouse view. Mark my words. Okay, more sap. More sap. What is that? Oh, what is this? Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do. All right, we really have to go to... That's our house over there. And I think the... Uh... I believe it's this way. The way we got to go to baseball, right? Yeah. It's this way. Could be wrong. Yeah, it is this way. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to pass by this little station. So I can be able to analyze some of the new things that we've discovered along the way. Since it's so important. We're going to do... Analyze that as well. chair and an ant. Oh, what, what was it? I missed it. Let's analyze this. Rubber. Huh. Rubber. Interesting. I guess some mushrooms along the way. Just because you never know when you're going to get hungry. More tree sap right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm going to stay up here. And I'm going to go back over here to snacks and craft more of these bandages. All we need to do is get some more sprigs, and we are good to go. Got one here. And... We should be able to find another one on the way back, so... Not too bad. Alright, I'm gonna head back to camp. Back to the base. And we're gonna get crafting. Now, I wanna make sure I have this armor, because... Honestly, it's kinda dumb to not be playing with, with armor on. I mean... It's dumb to play without armor on. I could improve the armor along the way, but I want to do baby steps. We can start off with the clover armor, and then we can integrate the uh, ant armor, which allows you to haul more stuff. So I found out by you guys. You guys told me that, and then I looked it up, and it was real. And then we can go on to the, uh, the other armor, which is the one from the acorns, which I think it's the best one so far. It gives you max health. And a bunch of other stuff. We go back to my house. We are back home. Open up. up. Oh. <laughs> Open and we're here. Alright, so. Here we go. We're going to go to the bench. Got the eye patch. Before the eye patch, I'm going to craft this. Yes. And then I'm going to get some more clover. Uh, clover leaves. Okay. We need more clover leaves. Which should be. Close that up. Over here. Usually there's a couple that spawn here, but they haven't yet. But uh, we have some right here. Drop this up. Thank you. I think that should be enough. Got another one there on the ground. All right, perfect. All right, so here we go. So right now we have. We already have that on. How do I see my character? How do I take a look at my character? Inventory. Okay, we don't have anything yet. We're going to craft this, and for the shins, we need two of these, so... Okay, we'll put this in the hair. <laughs> Upper body? <laughs> Don't know what's wrong with my character right now. <laughs> Meaty ant's leg. Perfect for beatings. Really? So we need... Ant mandibles and ant parts. We're gonna have to kill. Ah, oh, dude, we're gonna have to kill ant. Uh, uh, one of the soldier ants. What I want to do now is I want to get a spring bow. We're gonna need some nap fuzz. We only have one, and we need. Actually, we need a lot more than that. So, a pebble axe. Uh, let me see. I can probably put some things here in my inventory for now. Maybe some of these, and. Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe this as well. Alright, guys. We're back. Can I keep on going here? Um, oh, we got more tree sap right here. Thank you. I don't know if this is the right way. I think we're supposed to head this way. This is... Thistle plants. 
Really? Oh, these things got horns. Is this even working? Oh, we're getting needles from it. Oh. Oh, dude, we've never actually gotten any of that. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so where is... All right, we're headed the wrong way. We're going to go back this way. Let me tell you, you can get lost really easy in this game. One of you told me that instead of throwing a rock, it actually break or hit that and it drops down. No water filtration tablets Ooh, needed. Cool. All right. I thought I was going to have to chop down the leaf as opposed to just hitting it. All right, so we do have certain new things like the needle. The larva spike. No, the needle. All right, let's analyze this. Let's see what this has. A spike strip. I'm a little embarrassed to admit that I'm quite lost right now. Okay. What is this? Like ice cubes. Huh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm sorry, but I have to kill you. It's part of my job. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, hi there. Where's the net? Here we go. Come here. Come here. Let me get that net fuzz. Oh, uh, no, no. Hold on. Why am I so full on everything right now? Let me eat this. I think. Not fuzz. And I've got, uh, you know what? I will drop. What is hitting me? It's like something biting me. Alright, so there's some glitch in this game where something hits you. And you can't even see it. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. oh God. Oh no. Oh, they're stuck. Um. Um. Um, oh, this one's stuck here. Dude, what are the chances? What are the chances? No, no, no! Oh! Here! Stupid ant! We just got destroyed by an ant. It's okay. We needed that. We needed that experience. But I'm gonna be back like the electric bill. We're going back there. Mm -mm -mm. God damn it. I need the forceps. I, I, I need the, 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 the freaking claws that they, they have. Whatever the hell you want to call that. I don't know, man. I need it. I need it to make that advanced weapon. That weapon that allows us to become stronger. More dangerous. Retrieve all. Okay. <laughs> I think I probably got one from the other guys. Um, mandibles. That's what we need. To, oh, my God. The mandibles, guys. It's called the mandibles. What I'm going to do is now. Okay. Now, this changes everything. Okay. Literally. Now, what we can do is we're still going to go look for the gnat, which we got to find like two more, I believe. But now we can go home. And I'm going to craft this. This is what we call an advanced weapon. Okay. So, I'm going to go there real quick. And, and we'll be back. We'll be back. Ain't going nowhere. 
The fun is not over just yet. We have to create a bow. I want to create a bow. The, primarily, the, the main weapons that I want to create was the bow. And um, what we're about to make right now. Literally. These are the main two things. So we're going to go to the workbench, the ant club. We're going to need two of these. So I'm going to make two woven fibers. We do not have plant fiber. God darn it. Should be able to get some fiber from this. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to go back home. And we're going to go here. We're going to craft some of this fiber. Little tools. And now we can craft the ant club. And now we will go to... Um, let's see. Now we can go to... Oh, this is so freaking cool. We can go to our inventory now. And we can... I think I'm going to replace it for... Actually, four, uh, three is perfect. The only thing that we need left to do is going to be the bow. Once we have the bow and then... Oh my... The might fuzz. Okay, we have for arrows. We, we, we've got for the arrows. It's just for the the fuzz that we're gonna need we need two more nat fuzz dude look at this ant clubber dude whatever this is called look at this this thing is a monster <laughs> i'm gonna destroy so many fucking people with this we need to get this nat fuzz and honestly i don't have any other way to find it i, I i've been looking for like almost an hour already and i still can't find any nat fuzz the only thing we found was one and that's that's pretty much it this is all literally just uncharted territory to the max. Like, we've, we've never been here before. Oh, it's another weevil. Hey there, little weevil. Everything here is dry. More tree saps. By the way, I'm getting hit by something. I think it's a glitch. It's happened multiple times where you start getting hit by something. And the game keeps telling me to block, but I'm not really getting hit by anything. <laughs> fuck is that uh what the frick is that oh what the fuck is that oh. the frick is that Oh, what is this shit? Oh, God. Hey there, little buddy. It's a stink bug. Oh, oh, I'm gonna die! It just freaking farted! Ah! Ah, what the fuck? No, 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 Good. Oh, God. Oh, fuck it. Oh, it's coming back. Oh, shit. It's coming back. I know we came close. But close was not close enough. We have got to get out of here. We are not. Why, there, little buddy? We are not wanted here. Do you understand that? Like I said earlier, uncharted territory. And I'm here just to simply see if I can find this damn net fuzz. Which might just be fake. This might be fake news. Clay. Oh, I need a shovel for clay. I've got to be completely honest. I feel like at this point, the gnats are just random. Okay. Better than starving, I think. Don't even need to boil it. All right. There is no gnats here. just spawned in three stink bugs right there this this should be illegal this 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 is like a massacre right now why is this game doing this to me you understand it's my third day on this 
Look at that poor ant. They just killed that ant right there. So sorry. Ah! Freaking stupid! Ah! What are you gonna? You gonna jump? Huh? You gonna jump at me? Huh? You think you're brave? I will dismember you. Yeah, that's right. Cheat codes! Cheat codes! Cheat codes! Look at those teeth. Cheat codes! Ooh, he's trying to bite me. Ooh! Yeah, I'm not having that. Yo, can I craft a spear? Please tell me I can craft a spear. Yeah. Oh, you don't fucked up. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, this dude keeps farting on me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now he's chasing me. You just pooped all over me. Now you want to fight me? Stupid bug! Dude, I literally just got finished healing. What is? Oh my god, the stink bug replenished? Bro, this is abusive. Like at this point, this is super abusive. Good. Oh my god, bro. Oh man, I, I need to find a way to craft this. I, I, plant fiber. I need plant fiber. I will be back. Matter of fact, I'm gonna be back right now. I'm, I'm gonna kick your butt. I guess some of this. See, this is what I really. No, not, no, not that. This is what I enjoy about these games. You're set off to do one thing, and then it just suddenly turns into something else. Like, we have literally not come across another gnat. And yet we're here fighting stink bombs, getting farted on. It's stuck, guys. The bug is stuck. It's stuck. It's freaking stuck, and it's stunned now. Look at him go. Huh? Oh, are you stunned now, little buddy? Huh? Take that! I killed my first stink bug! Disgusting. What is this? Stink bug part. Hold on. I've got to let go of some stuff. Uh, stink bug part. Yes. I, I got to drop this. This is huge. This is, this is, this is huge. This is, this is absolutely huge. I just cannot believe we, we got out of that alive. We got revenge on that stupid bug. That stupid smelly bug. That was just amazing. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. We still need to find the gnat, which we haven't found, unfortunately. But oh, hi. Where is it? You know how hard I've been looking for you? Do you understand? You, you, you have not the slightest idea. Okay, hold on. Nat, Nat Fuzz. There we go. We got the Nat Fuzz. Life is good. All it took was just going head to head with a stink bug. This game just wanted to test our skills. It wanted to put, put us through through some adversity before it gave us the fruits. And I'm totally okay with that. Okay, now I'm talking too much garbage. Where is this? <laughs> the opposite side. Oh, things are actually looking up, man. That was a dark, dark place. We had to really, really dig deep. 
that dark shadowy place with absolutely no life but we did it we persevered and uh now we get to enjoy the riches of what we call an ant club and a bow so we got a couple of things we got the feelers this is from the stink bug right insect hammer Yo, so you could craft more stuff. A gas mask. No way. Close this up. Close it up. Go here. And now we can go to tools. I need what? A what? I just crafted some. What are you talking about? Why is it there? Do I not have enough space? Oh, okay. I don't have enough space. Um... Perfect. We got our bow ready. And now what else? Let's see. We've got this. I'll go back to the inventory. I'm going to get the bow. I'm going to put it on four. Should probably put the spear. I'm going to go back to my inventory or my storage. I'm going to get a spear and I'm going to put it here. I'm going to carry two spears at all times because I feel like it's important. I guess we are now headed all the way to the oak lab, the secret lab with the robot. Hopefully this bow and arrow comes in handy. Hopefully even more so. My ant club comes in handy, but I'm gonna have to keep at bay, so I'm definitely gonna have to use that. Choke it down, Pete. Ugh, it's definitely gonna have to use the bow and arrow more for that, for that robot more than anything else, to be honest. This is the spot of acorns. I've come to realize every time I come here, there's acorns. Don't even need to boil it. All right, good. But I want to know what's up there. Oh, I think those are the one of those little lamps, those garden lamps. That's what that is. Oh, look. Nice. Wait, where'd it go? <gasps> Come here. <laughs> Yes, Nat Fuzz. All right, let's go back inside the lab. Man, these acorns are tempting as heck. Yes, I'm gonna take all these acorn tops. Back at the lab. Moment of truth. <laughs> okay, let's see if this works out for us. Oh, hi. Ooh. That works. Away, Satan. Away with you. Away. Ooh, he's almost dead. That's what I die, you stinking robot! Let me get all my arrows back. <laughs> Dude, that little robot is vicious. All right, so yeah, we can actually. Why can I pick that one up? There we go. We can actually recruit all of our not recruit, but recollect all of our arrows back. Now I can come back here in peace. You know what I mean? I don't have to worry about anything else. Howdy! It's good to see you again. Okay, so now we have. Um, trade you for some raw science. Uh, scabs. An upgrade for the scab scanner module that allows it to detect nearby raw science. You're not allowed in here, Weevil. I told you that. Okay, let's go back over here. Hold on. It's good to see you again. If you have any extra. Howdy, it's good to see you again. Three bold quests. Didn't I get something for killing that robot? That's what I heard. What is this? Oh. Criminal transcription unit 87.10.25. Order number 73. 
I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark IVs never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark III's. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All solved with you Mark IVs, not to mention your most excellent moustaches. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. View details. Cutting edge biomonitoring scanner bracelet. Uh... Okay, so these are just cassettes. I think we also have... Dude, I'm kind of intrigued, like... What the heck? I thought we could... Wait, you can you can explore this? <gasps> oh, this is going to have to be for the next episode or something. First of all, I thought we would get something from killing that robot. Apparently not. We also have another scanner here. Another analyzer gotta be honest guys I, I don't know if i'm still kind of like questioning myself if that was if that was a mistake like the whole robot not giving me any loot maybe maybe it wasn't maybe it was meant to be like that but i don't know anyways i think we're gonna end it here um we can definitely end it here can we save the game here yeah i think we can i hope you guys enjoyed we're back at the lab we're gonna head back home and um on the next episode, we'll find something else to do. I got some ideas in mind, but thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you want more daily grounded or just grounded videos in general and would like for the series to continue, drop it a like. And if you know anything about the robot not giving me anything, please let me know in the comments and I'll catch you later.